everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Justice for All. In the last episode, after a long hiatus, I got back to recording and uh, we are still investigating the third case of the game, uh, Turnabout Big Top. And uh, after speaking to Acro some more, we went running around and we talked to Regina. And then uh, we found out that she's a little strange, but I mean, we already knew she was kind of weird. But anyway, Acro doesn't like Regina, but she seems to like Acro, so I don't know. There's a lot of secrets going on. Acro has Cyclox. We talked to Mo. He made some yummy burgers, and he had Cyclox, so <laughs> we're, we're going to have to try to break those. But let, right now, let's give back what Money stole, which was the costume. Um... Where is it? Here it is. The costume. Here you go, Regina. Yay! Thank you! You really got it back for me! Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney! Oh my gosh, don't just go proclaiming your love. <laughs> Blush. <laughs> oh my god. No, Phoenix, don't be a pedophile like everybody else. <laughs> no. This is in case, this case. Uh, <laughs> it's nothing. No wonder guys melt to mush in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. That's pretty sad. Okay, let's see if we have any more to talk to her about Leon. Yeah, okay. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right, my dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down, and then he opened his mouth, you know, gah! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways, what was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit someone during that practice. <gasps> Regina! Everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah. That's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Oh. Oh boy. Well, what do you expect putting uh, your head inside of a lion? Jeez. Is there anything else I can present to get you to tell me more? Anything else? No? Hmm. But now some things are starting to make sense. So I think we're gonna go to the cafeteria and talk to Mo again. Hopefully I can uh, break him. We'll see. Hmm. Let's see. I might have it backwards. I might need to talk to Acro first, but I'm not sure. Mo. Please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus? Okay, okay. There's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Ah. Actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. <gasps> Mo, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? Now, we just heard from Regina that he bit someone, so it would be Leon. I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a performance, right? 
What? I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing dangerous performances like that. Putting their head inside of Leon's mouth was part of an act? But Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He could never say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Uh-oh. Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this, too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo, is this the person that you promised you wouldn't say anything? Only one I can think of is uh, the other one with Cyclox. Acro, he got injured six months ago, so... Hmm. It must have been Acro, right? H how? How'd you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No! No way! I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please, tell me what you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Acro. There we go. I got it right! <laughs> Great. I was worried that I uh, was trying to do it too soon or whatever. Okay, let's talk about this accident. It's just like you said. You know, the accident. Did someone... die? No, but it would have probably been better if he had. Ooh. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? That's awful. All he does now is lay in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. But brother they were an acrobat team of brothers. Acro and Bat. Ah, perfect names. <laughs> Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down at the same time. Oh, let's talk about his brother. Um, who is Acro's younger brother? Sean Dingling. But everyone always called him Bat. Oh, he was a cutie. He fell in love with Regina, like everyone else does. <laughs> Trying to win her love was his downfall. And he looks young. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon! Why do you do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. Oh my god, no. Such a cutie. Why did you do this to yourself? I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was... smiling. He? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. What the heck? Ooh, this is gruesome. I think this is the worst. Some sick grin. No way! That's impossible! A smirking lion. A flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick, can lions smile? Um... We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. That feels so extreme. There must have been a more humane way to do it. Ugh. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. 
But all of this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka 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 shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, achoo! Achoo! Nice! What a wonderful sneeze! Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana? That's basic clownmanship. Girly, I know you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I'd make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. <laughs> does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does. That would always tease her with pepper. Ah. But bad. From my point of view, those two always looked so perfect together compared to the other guys who like her. They looked perfect together, huh? Oh, that's so sad. But she did mention she doesn't like Pepper, so that's probably why. Huh. Alright, so let's, um... Let's go try to break... Acro... Uh, his Cyclops. <laughs> Not break Acro. <laughs> that sounded weird. Uh, alrighty. Go back to the lodging house. Oh, Acro, my poor, poor dear. I know the truth now. Ah, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Kind of like the Terminator. <laughs> Wait, or was that someone else? See, she's confused. We're back because Acro's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Well, well, it seems you've got things you want to talk about, so fire away. Do we have to break him now? I guess. Wait, let me check. Unless we don't have to now? Oh, we do. Okay. I <laughs> wasn't sure. Sir, we must discuss very serious things. I'm sorry. About the wheelchair... I have to ask you, how were you injured? Ooh, okay. I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes, unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. Acro, are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Um... Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. Yep. That serious face of his. Jeez. He's a handsome guy, but it's kind of, a, kind of intimidating for some reason. I know I'm on the right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. I'm not sure if attack is the best word to be using. You must have battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Ah, <sighs> this is so sad. 22. Still older than Regina, but at least he's closer in age than everybody else. Oh, So sad. Bat! It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Yep. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo, but he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. 
A slip of the tongue? He said they were an incredible team cut down at the same time. Cut down at the same time. That was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up wrapped up in the same accident together, like always. This reminds me of the last case. Uh, the two sisters had the same accident, so... Man, similar theme going on. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Akro's psych lock. He must have an incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Akro, I know you are still hiding something from me. Maybe something you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive. Something or someone. Regina, you always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she is cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina! I've got proof of it! What? What are you talking about? Don't. Maybe I overdid it again. <laughs> Don't like, <laughs> like the Simpsons. Are you Homer Simpson right now? All right. But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll. Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. <sighs> this note was in her pocket. Take that! Th this. Where'd you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Uh-huh, and she said that it was their breakfast when she takes him his breakfast, yes. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. There we go. Everything's coming together now. Whew. This is not a very happy subject. My legs were injured by Leon six months ago. My younger brother Bat had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have got you have to go to the movies with me on a date. Okay, first of all, it's kind of blackmail, but <laughs> no, I'm not blackmail. But I mean, it's adorable, but also really stupid. <sighs> Jeez, she's not worth it, Bat. No, that's insane. Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too. But that lion was very old to begin with, and age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened? He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor Bat. When Leon jumped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Regina and Bat. Bat and Regina. 
They were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? It's covered in blood. This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross! It's covered in blood! This scarf was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. What? We heard that already. When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know. Mo said the same thing. What do you think it all means? Oh dear. Well, there goes an important clue. I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Darn it, Von Karma! <laughs> Go away. <laughs> oh shoot. Von Karma. I've already heard everything, so hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served a summons on Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro will talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro. Let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Darn it. Von Karma, you ruined everything. <laughs> now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. Come together right now. Over me. Love that song. <laughs> Alrighty. Perfect timing. That will be it for this episode. I'm so glad we got to a good spot. We're done with the investigation, you guys. Like he said, everything's coming together. It's starting to make sense. And it's all very tragic. So, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!